Hi everybody, today we're looking at the Samsung Gear S3 Frontier Smartwatch. Um, I finally got around to get my hands on this cool gadget. Um, it has been in the, on the market for quite a while now. Um, um, but uh, yeah, I mean right now though at the time that I'm doing this video, it's pretty much this Samsung Gear um, S3 Frontier and its counterpart, uh, the Apple, um, their, their smartwatch. These these two uh, devices are pretty much the, the leading um, wearable from from the point of view of a, a smart watch on the market today. Uh, so that being said, let's take this out of the box in this video. I'm just doing an unboxing today, um, and then over the next couple of weeks, I'm actually going to be using this thoroughly, testing out all the applications, um, and just doing a general test. Uh, and I will give you know my my true review of this product over the, over the coming. Uh, weeks so uh, yeah so let's just take it out of the box um, just, just take this here you know, it's best to put these kinds of devices back in the original packaging because as you can see by this nice cylindrical box here I mean Samsung have done a lot of work in packaging this thing so I just took it out took, took off the top and I have not even Taking this watch out of its dock yet, and I'm already amazed at how it looks. Look at the look at how look at the build quality. All right, it's it just you do, you just take the top off and you present it with this cool um, gadget here. I mean, it can just the workmanship just comes right out into your face when you take it out of the box. Um, this is really nice. Um, so, like initial impression, first thing I've noticed, this thing is huge, right? This thing. Um, you know, it's definitely a, a man-sized watch. I know usually, like, the, the gents watches, they're usually larger than the, the ladies' watches. Um, but, you know, I do know lady, I do know some ladies, personally, I have some friends of mine who are female, that do like large watches as well. So, this would definitely be something that you may want to be interested in. So, that's really, really cool. Let me just take it out of the... Wow. Now, it does have a little bit of weight to it. Which means, and I am one of those guys, you know, a watch, if it does have a bit of weight to it, you know, there's a lot of nice technology tucked away inside here, and, you know, and it's, it's definitely worth its weight, as they say, in gold. And speaking of, you know, worth, worth its weight in gold, um, this watch is not cheap. It's actually on the high end of the spectrum in this category of smartwatch. So anyway, here's uh, some, uh, some packaging, nothing much. Now, what is good about this, it actually comes with its own wireless charging station. So, it does have um, an inductive charging dock. Uh, there's the, right here at the back is where you put your mini USB cable, and that connects. Hopefully, there is a power, there is a power supply in here as well. Um, yes, here we have our cable. Thank you, Samsung. i add this to my other 999 USB cables. I've collected over the months and years, um, but this cable, yes, this will be for the uh, the charging dock. So let's put that there. And here is the power supply, a nice black one, um, Samsung logo at the top, and that's your USB port there. All right. So what I like about these types of power supplies, oops, sorry. So what I like about these types of power supplies is that. You know, you can use any USB cable, right? You don't have to have... The older type power supplies would usually have the power supply unit like this. And then the cable is actually soldered into this. So it's actually part of this unit. Which kind of sucks now because you have this and the cable. Um, and, you know, what I like about the newer type power supplies is that the cable is separate. So you can actually use this for just pure data transfer for another use case. Or you can, you can connect it into this power supply and you can use it to charge your, your device, right? So that's really good. And all modern devices today do have their chargers separated from the cable like that. And at the bottom here, oh wait, before we go to the bottom, oh nice. So we actually it actually comes with a second set of um, bands. Actually, no, it's just one band. This part here, it's actually small. So I think I'm guessing this one that's on here right now is large. Um, let's see. So here is the watch, and this you get a an extra um, band piece here. This is the small size, and that goes here. 
So as you can see, so this most probably is like a medium, I'm guessing. But you get a, a small um, strap as well if you have a smaller wrist, which is good. And at the bottom here, we just have our quick start guide. And that's it for the contents of the box. All right. And this is a nice little, you know, it can actually like be a stand as well if you wanted to use it as a stand. Um, and actually, you're, you're right because I could actually put my charging dock in here, and um, when I'm charging my phone, I can put it here, right? So you can actually use this um, as a charging dock. And at the back here, there's even a little hole for my power supply cable, right? And the power supply can be fed through this hole here. So I can technically use this as a little stand for my, a charging stand for my, uh, for my watch, right? Put the cable through here, and you just rest it on here when you're charging it, right? And you have the nice little Samsung logo, right? So this, this little packaging can, can, can be a little stand for your phone as well. Not for your phone, sorry, for your watch as well. Okay, and we have here this little piece that came with it. it came on the side here to protect the side of the watch. And actually inside here, it actually shows you a little man throwing this thing in the garbage. So this can actually be disposed of, right? That's just packaging. So here are your one, two, three, four, five elements that you get with your in your package here. So we enough of the quick start guide. Power supply, it's a no-brainer, right? Mini USB. And what I want to mention here is that what's good about these straps, this is a standard um, watch strap size, right? Meaning that you can actually get your own, if you have your own version of watch strap that you that you like, you can get them from any of your, your watch stores. They will fit into this uh, into this watch, right? And um, these come out quite easily, actually. These, these little clips here, you just uh, pull this clip in like this. And the, the clip, the um, strap comes right out. Right, so easy. This one does the same thing as well. To put it back in, and that clips right in place like that. Very easy. Right, so let me just take off this uh, little plastic cover, screen, screen protector, and um, a little smudge there. That's my bad. So this is just the initial unboxing. So um, just looking, looking at the look and feel again. It is a large watch. Um, this rotating bezel, um, you use this to actually navigate your apps. And in my next video, I'm going to show you uh, all of this in more detail. Uh, on the side here, there are no buttons. There is an external speaker right here because this you can actually uh, make and receive calls on this, but this has to be going through your your cell phone. But you can actually use this to you know have a conversation once you're connected to your cell phone. Um, on this side there are two buttons. This here is your home button and that's your back button. And there's also another cool feature of this where um, I'll go into it in a bit more detail but you can actually, I think you hit this button three times and uh, in case of emergency and you can actually have this configured to do like an automatic 911 call or um, even call um, an emergency contact of your choice. But again we'll go into that in a bit more detail in the next video. Um, so yeah, let me just put it on. So before I do it at the back here, we do have, uh, let me just move this here a second. And let me move this serial, serial number thingy here. The details. We have a set, our sensors here at the back, heart rate monitor, uh, right. And um, again, we will go into more detail on these other sensors. But just remember, it can take your heart rate. So just put this on. So these uh, straps, as I said, um, they come with these. These are rubberized. Now this watch is designed for somebody who's into physical fitness, who likes to run, um, so it can take sweat. And it's also, I believe, IP67 rated. And all that means is you can immerse this in water for, I think, up to 30 minutes. Um, I will confirm that. Um, but yeah, this is how it looks like on my right typical wrist here. And uh, this is a man's wrist, as you can see, and um, it's pretty large. So another observation: um, see, I you know when you go to work, I do wear a long-sleeved um, 
shirts and I can see off the bat I might get an issue with this is not a problem but this is a you know loose material so I can easily cover my my watch but if you do have your dress shirts where you have the buttons here you will most probably have an issue trying to cover this watch um, with your dress shirt um, but again uh, well I'm going to be using this for a couple of weeks at least um, uh, so I'll let you know what my experience is with this when I actually dress up with dress shirts um, but yeah this is just an initial unboxing I'm going to have a lot of fun with this um, you know, it's going to you know, charge it up uh, so one other quick thing, if you're interested in getting this watch, uh, I do have links below this where you can get these off of Amazon. Um, and I'm also going to do a uh, blog on this as well um, after I've done my you know, full review. It'll be a, there will be a blog um, um, uh, review on my blog page. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so stay tuned for more videos on the Samsung Gear S3. And this is the Frontier. All right. Hey everybody, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Now I'm going to ask you to do two things before you leave. One, there's a button right up here on the screen to my right here. Click on that and that will take you to our website www.redtechbot.com When you get on that site there will be a button there where you can actually sign up for our newsletter and when you do sign up for our newsletter by entering in your email address you will automatically be entered into all of our tech giveaways and by tech giveaways these are some typical examples of what we will be giving away uh, and these are some examples there's other stuff as well um, and the good news is you you know you just have to enter your email address once and you know it will automatically be entered into the pool every time we do a draw um, and we will use that email address of course to, to contact the winner to tell them hey you've won something um, and you know it's it's uh, it's really cool and of course the newsletter will have you know, you know, updates on tech reviews, what's coming up new, uh, you know, what's coming up next, um, you know, new stuff uh, in the industry, and even information on, on future giveaways, right? So it's really, 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 really nice newsletter that we're going to be uh, uh, sending out. And one other thing is, on this side on the screen here, up here, on my left, uh, you click on that and you will subscribe to the channel. Now, by subscribing... Of course, you will be, you know, at the forefront of any new things that are happening, any new videos that are coming out. Um, and what I will also be doing is I'll be doing videos where I'll be talking about what we're going to be doing as a next giveaway, right? So you want to be, you know, subscribed, tuned in to that as well. So it's going to be a fun year and fun years to come as well. So, yeah, that being said, you guys have a great day.